So after two years on Debian, I am finally switching back to Ubuntu. Now look, Debian has been good to me, but a few things have prompted this change. The biggest one being, well, I mean, I, I needed it. I really did. I had been using Debian since 2021, and that's the longest I have ever stuck with a single distro. I had been kind of bouncing back and forth between stable and testing, but before that, I was a big distro hopper. I had used Fedora, Solus, Ubuntu, a lot of OpenSUSE, and a little bit of Arch, and the last time that I actually installed Debian was back in 2022, and that was Linux Mint Debian Edition with Cinnamon. But it became a Frankenstein shortly after that. I got tired of Cinnamon, so I switched to Upstream Debian for KDE, and I included a bunch of Debian and non-Debian repos, like from Sparky and stuff, and it really messed up my system bad. And at that point, or I guess this point, I could just reinstall Debian or whatever, but this is my main content producing workstation, and reinstalling is risky, and Debian is pretty vanilla, so if I'm gonna go crazy and start over, I want to do it my way. But why not Arch or some other fancy pants distro? A couple people have told me to go the Arch route, but it's like the same thing. I don't really want to do the DIY Linux enthusiast thing anymore. I like Linux, and while I have some gripes about the desktop and things, it's in a pretty good spot right now, and I just want a system that works good. All the time. But why Ubuntu? I mean, I could have gone Fedora or CentOS, but I went Kubuntu, because I'm already very familiar with Ubuntu, having worked with it professionally and personally, here on the channel and as my desktop and everything. I'm also using Snaps, because honestly, Snaps are pretty good. I've built a Snap, and I've interacted with the Snappy team as a consultant for a company that wanted to use Snap as part of their build pipeline, and I've also used Snaps a lot just using them since I installed Kubuntu, and honestly, they work great. And the Ubuntu side of it is great for compatibility. All the big companies and projects target it, enterprises depend on it, and yet it remains an open source project. Now there's always people that are surprised to hear that I'm, I'm into KDE, and yes, I've used KDE since the start of the channel. I like to point back at the very first video on the channel is me using KDE. But if KDE is where it's at, why use Kubuntu? Why not use Neon or... Fedora KDE or OpenSUSE or something like that, and Kubuntu isn't perfect, and I'll go over what I like and dislike about it at the end of the video or at the end of this spiel here. I actually really, really like KDE Neon, and I like the idea of a KDE distribution, and I've used it as a daily before, but it's really rough around the edges, and the thing about it is it's not Ubuntu. A big reason why I want to go to Ubuntu is for the compatibility and support. Fedora KDE is another one that has been turning heads lately, but I, I don't really want to switch to become a Red Hat guy and learn a completely different ecosystem. I also don't particularly like IBM, and the changes with Red Hat just kind of make me sad, so... But I do love KDE, and I've used it literally since I started the channel, so... Kubuntu seems like a logical target, and hopefully I won't try to install GTK on top of it. And you know, another big reason why I'm hopping is the name of the PC. I know it's weird, but it's sentimental to me. Legionnaire is the name of my old Lenovo Legion that died last year, and it was a very important little laptop to me. I should have named this laptop that I'm using now something else, but I carried forward the name because I brought forward the NVMe from Legion, and yeah. The name I have bestowed upon this laptop is Rock the name of the mythical bird from Arabian lore, because it is an Asus ROG Strix, and the logo looks a bit like a big old bird wing. So that's that about the distro and why I switched and all that jazz. So how did I back up my data? I want to do more than just ramble about the switching. Let me show you something cool. Let me show you how I backed up my data and things. I used to distro hop more on my main rig, but one of the main reasons why I stopped was that I had a big data loss incident. I've since refactored my personal backup strategy, but I'm scarred, and I take my data integrity very seriously. I've tried a few different backup utilities, GNOME Disks, Deja Vu, and Timeshift, to name a few, but none of them performed up to my expectations. I found that they either required way too much space, or were way too slow, or encoded the data in some binary format, which is just stupid. 
So what I did is I wrote my own program called Backup Buddy. Backup Buddy uses rsync to move all of my files and folders really, really fast, despite it being a hard disk over USB. And I'm moving a lot of data, so I need to do it asynchronously or multi-threaded or some way, so I use Node. When I wrote Backup Buddy, I didn't consider how the restore process would work, but luckily my design seemed to allow me to reverse the paths and a restore worked like a backup in backwards backup, the backup, a backwards backup basically, which is pretty darn neat, honestly. A link to Backup Buddy is somewhere, uh, maybe in the description, I'm not really sure, but you can go check it out. It's, it's open source like most of the stuff I do. For additional redundancy, I also have a Nextcloud remote cloud backup, which I host locally here in my home lab, and I have a two terabyte hard disk drive connected to my USB 3, and that's what I use as my Glacier storage. So that's what I'm using Backup Buddy for. So how am I liking Kubuntu? I switched from Debian 12 stable to Kubuntu 23.10, a non-LTS point release of Ubuntu with Plasma Desktop. Coming from stable Debian, I wanted to go to a stable Ubuntu, like an LTS release. The most recent LTS is 22.04, and it actually has an older Plasma version than Debian stable. So what I think I plan to do is just upgrade to the next LTS version, which is right around the corner at 24, 24.04. But how do I like it? I like it a lot. I took a lot of notes, so let's break it up into a list of likes and don't likes. I've never done it before like this, and this might be the nucleus of a new distro delve style of uh, review sort of thing. So yeah, let's drop in. What did I like about it? I like that my NVIDIA and my whole display stack is working straight out of the box, and it seems like most apps do seem to figure out the GPU situation on their own. Another cool thing is Pipewire is set up and running by default. I, th I think it recently came out of, out of beta and it's stable audio system it replaces pulse audio and hopefully it's the default everywhere another cool thing about kubuntu is it comes with a tool called muon which is like a cute version of synaptic and it works really really good i've always liked this tool and it's not available on debian i also like that sane repos and apps came out of the box and i don't know this is maybe something that like vanilla debian users could more appreciate because when you install debian you just get just base Debian repos and it's it's serviceable but it's not huge so Ubuntu comes with a lot more ready out of the box so there's less post install configuration which I like and doggone it snaps have been pretty good I have only had a problem with one snap and it was a KDE snap it was Haruna Har Haruna the media player the theme was messed up and it, it was having trouble playing videos for no good reason so I got rid of it and installed the Ubuntu version which works fine I've got a lot of snaps installed though geez Minecraft is even in there as a snap discord of course VS code I've always used as a snap I've got Node installed as a snap, and it runs pretty good. That's what ran Backup Buddy. It was, just, it was installed as a snap, so that all works super good. The performance is really, really solid. I had weird performance on Debian, especially with the display. There were times when Firefox would just like glitch out, and I couldn't switch between tabs. I had to close it and relaunch it. It was really odd. Everything has been good and working fast on Kubuntu. And granted, I guess it's only been like a week, but hey. So what didn't I like? Mime types or meme types. So basically when you go to launch a file on the file system, what app it opens with. Oh man, KDEs are, I, I don't know if it's Kubuntu or KDE, so I don't know really who I'm griping at, but wow, it's so bad. Something else that I guess isn't bad, I, I thought it was kind of crummy, is there's no welcome app. How I don't know, it's KDE and it's, it's Ubuntu, and there are other Ubuntu community editions that have a welcome app. How could Kubuntu not have one? I'm pretty sure KDE has one. And speaking of KDE, it seems like everybody's just relying on Breeze as the theme. Like, Kubuntu has a theme, but it it's not anything. It's just... Now, I have this gripe about OpenSUSEs, too. OpenSUSE used to have a great theme, and then it's just Breeze. Kubuntu had a really cool theme that I think was more blue, but now it's just Breeze. And that kind of leads into the next gripe I have, in that I feel like Kubuntu is trying too hard to be its own thing, by just being KDE on Ubuntu. And I think that's silly because that's basically what 
KDE Neon is, and KDE Neon is, it needs some work. So I don't really know what's going on there. I say leave KDE Neon to Neon and let it be vanilla, and Kubuntu should just embrace Ubuntu and try to be more like Upstream instead of its own weird thing. I had some other notes that aren't good or bad. They're just kind of facts, I guess. I found it to be pretty heavyweight. It, it's consuming about one and a half gigabytes of memory at idle, which is weird. I want to point that out because a lot of people say KDE has become lightweight. I don't know, a gig and a half of memory sitting there at idle doesn't seem lightweight to me. Also, Kwin uses xorg as the default, not Wayland. So on Debian, I think the default was Wayland. I was using Wayland. But you, you can use it, but the default is X server. And something maybe you guys can help me with, Plank doesn't have a Wayland version. So if I want to use Wayland, I can't use Plank. I've got to use something like, I think, is it Latte or Mocha? One of, something like that. But I don't like that doc. It seems really heavy to me. I like having a Pantheon elementary OS style desktop right now. And Plank, you can do that because it's Plank. And I'm not sure how to do it without Plank. So maybe you guys can help me. And the last note worth mentioning is uh, snaps still need some improvements. They're not terrible, and I don't think they're as bad as people say they are, but there, there are still things that could use improvements, like a, a manual or some sort of explanation, an easy summary of explaining how things work, easy way of filtering and finding apps that aren't duplicates or official. And I don't even think I could get the Ubuntu store to work on Kubuntu. You have Discover. And Discover is really cool, but I, I kind of wanted to check out the Ubuntu store, but it doesn't even work. So, I don't know. And yeah, that's probably a good place to wrap this up. So, I have one more video on this topic in flight. I've been kind of producing multiple videos at the same time, and uh, I don't know if it's the greatest idea, but I need footage from the before and after for this sort of thing. It's a rare benchmark on my own, my very own, workstation between Kubuntu and Debian with KDE. I don't know. I think the results are interesting. So I'll be producing that maybe in a week or two. So if, you, if you're interested in that sort of benchmark, stay tuned. If you like what you saw here and you want to support me and see more, you can become a channel member. And I also have a cool little hobby community where I host game servers we can play on. You can check that out at egio slash discord. And you can support me there if you want to as well. And until next time, folks, I will see you when I see you. And until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.